In 2018, Tish was elected Attorney General. She's the first woman of color to hold a statewide office and the first woman to be elected Attorney General. Her office is leading an investigation into former President Donald Trump. She sued drug manufacturers and forced them to give New York $1.1 billion to fight the addiction crisis. And she continues to work to get guns off the street. I think it's safe to say Tish is a very busy woman with an agenda that we wholeheartedly support. But no matter how many, how many battles Tish is fighting, no matter how many causes she's advancing, she always has time for transit workers and the TW Local 100. She attended our rallies, she has spoken at our mass membership meeting, she even helped with organizing drive years ago outside the MTA call center in Long Island City in Queens. She spent hours with us outside the call center talking to workers going into and out of the building explaining to them the benefits of being united and why they should join the union. Tish is the 67th Attorney General of New York State, but she is number one in our hearts. And she's a member of our family. I'd like to bring up Tish James. somber occasion and as I look out in the audience and I see the tears in the faces of uh, all of you and I see the children the next generation of TWU members I um, think about death and first let me acknowledge your wonderful president Tony Utano of course our next mayor Eric Adams and of course, my friend from the Bronx, the Honorable Michael Blake, who's joined us. I view death as an extension of life. It's the next step in our journey. And death, my friends, whether or not you believe it or not, is really the destiny of all of us, right? right. And so when I think about the loss of my mother, my father, my little seven-year-old nephew who died from cancer, when I close my eyes, I still feel them in my heart. And crying is cathartic. Crying is therapeutic. Crying is necessary. But all you've got to do, my friends, is just close your eyes and feel their presence. Feel their beating heart next to yours. And you'll find yourself doing things that remind you of your loved ones. You'll look in the faces and in the attitudes and in the personalities of your children and you'll see your loved ones. There's something that they will do that will remind you of your loved one. You'll look around this place, in these halls, in these walls, in these corners, and you'll see your loved one. When you hear the roaring of the train, you're thinking of your loved one. When you see your, that bus coming down your block, you think of your loved one. When you'll see the men and women of TWU in their uniform, you'll think of your loved one. And you will know, just as New York City and New York State is now recognizing that they too are heroes and sheroes, and though they were not recognized as essential, we know, because we're family, that they truly are essential. And they're essential for so many reasons. And they were there in the storms and in the hurricanes. Irene, Sandy, Ida. When people were drowning, when the water was coming up, it was the buses that said, come on in, I'll protect you. When they were stranded with their cars, it was TWU that was there. And let's not forget all of those who worked in the pile after 9-11, the three men who died. They too must be remembered. And all of those who have died as a result of 9-11 related illnesses. And all of us who are still struggling with COVID, who can't breathe, who can't cough tonight. They're essential. They're heroes. They're sheroes. And so we must never, ever forget the sacrifice that this union has made. 
So I don't come here, one, to celebrate death, no. I come here to celebrate life and to celebrate your loved one and all that they have done for me and for you and for the city and for the state and to lift them up and to let people know out there in the media that they're heroes and that they need to be respected. And I know that the mayor of the city of New York, Eric Adams, he will march with you. He will rally with you. Yes, I'm calling it into existence. We just have to get over a little hurdle in November, but it's all right. When he becomes mayor, when he marches into City Hall, He's gonna march in with TWU strong. He's gonna march in with TWU in his blood and in his vein. He's going to march with TWU because as was said, he is you and you are him and there is no inextricable gap between you. Just like Tish James, although I am the Attorney General, I'm nothing more than a sister from Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. Walk in my beloved Brooklyn, and I see TWU in the buses, they beep. Tony, I hope you don't mind, sometimes they stop. <laughs> Eric, I hope you don't mind, sometimes when my change is a little short, they say jump those jumps, don't you? <laughs> it's okay, I guess you can't jump them anymore. <laughs> but with um, this deadly pandemic on the loose, all of us must get back vaccinated. All of us must take this serious. All of us must know that we pose a threat to our loved ones. We cannot retreat behind closed doors and we must crush this virus. And the only way that we're gonna crush this virus if all of us are in this together. And so we must get vaccinated. We must dispel all of the misinformation and the disinformation that's on social media and believe the facts and believe the science. Scripture tells us, because I am a woman of faith, amen? amen. That value others. The scripture, scripture, scripture tells us in Philippians chapter 2, section 3, that value others above yourselves. And when you value others above yourself, you think about others before you think about yourselves. And you make sacrifices because that's who we are each and every day. And the lifeblood of our city is the transit system and the bus system. And they keep it running each and every day, 24 hours a day. And oftentimes they're invisible because they're underground or because we don't see them. And so many others get so many applause, but we, both Michael and Eric and I, we know what you do every day in, keep, in keeping this city running. You don't ask for plaques, you don't ask for memorials, you don't even ask for all of this, but you should be honored. You should be recognized. They should put up plaques. They should put up memorials. They should honor you, they should respect you. They should say your name over and over and over again. Because you showed up and risked your life when no one asked you. And you went above and beyond your salary. You were the essential workers. You ensured that other essential workers could do their jobs. And you exposed yourselves to the virus. Despite the fact that the stations and the stops and the buses and the trains weren't cleaned enough. And you got us home safely and you exposed yourself to people who may have had the virus. You did it for all of us. Your loved ones did it for all of us. And that's why we have to pause in our busy day and our busy schedules just to say thank you, just to say we honor you, just to say we remember them and we will always remember them. They're in our hearts, but just close your eyes and they will always be with you, just like they will always be with the hardworking men and women of TWU. God bless you and thank you.